how to use Midjourney for free for a lifetime. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how you can basically use Midjourney for free. Basically with Midjourney you only have about 25 free queries only, right? But we want to use more, more than 25 times so there's one way I'm going to help you guide it. I'm going to guide you guys through it so let's get on to the video. So first things first, I assume you already have your Midjourney account logged in. Into your Discord, you're going to go all the way down and you're going to log out of your Discord account first. Let's quickly log out of our Discord account. Now, once I've logged out, we're going to make an email for a new account. And for that purpose, we're going to head over to Proton.me. Let's head over to that. And here, we're going to sign up and create a free account. You're going to click on create a free account. It has multiple different options and pricing. We're going to get Proton for free. Click on get Proton for free. Now we're going to set up our Proton account and we're going to be using this email to join Midjourney. You can put up any sort of username. It could be aiuser at proton.me23. I'm going to quickly enter up the password and the username and click on create account. So the username already exists. So let's move with this one. Let's change the username a bit. Now that we're done with the account setup process, it's time to verify your account. You can do that by two ways, by clicking on the CAPTCHA or you can do it by email verification. This one's a bit easier, so we're just going to do this actually. Then we click on next and the CAPTCHA is completed and our account is created. We're going to wait, wait, and wait for us to be heading into the Protons dashboard. This is going to be our display name. If you want to change it right now, you can do that, but I'll continue on with this one. And then you can enter up your phone number and email address. This is not necessary. You can skip it. But this is like a recovery or verification method if you ever lose your account. Now that we're done with this, it's taking us to our Proton Mail. Now that our dashboard has been loaded, let's go on. We can skip this. Here, this is our basic email. I'm going to quickly copy this. This is our email going to copy this and this is our inbox. I'm going to head over to Discord and create and register a different account using this email. You can have a display name. Now we're creating a different Discord account and with this Discord account, we're going to enter and head over to Midjourney's server to be using it properly. Enter in your birthday details. It could be anything since this is just a sort of specifically fake email account we're making. Then once you've created this account, Verify your reCAPTCHA that Discord presents you with. And so now our Discord account is ready. We're going to head over to the different servers that are available. And Midjourney's one is one of the huge community that's already up here. So we're going to quickly join Midjourney's server. And here we are. We've already got started. We'll have to verify the email that's received here. You can see you got an email by Discord and by Proton as well. Just quickly verify this email. So you can enter in the server and use Midjourney for free. Let me just quickly verify this. Just confirm it, open it up here with the other link from the email and we're good to go. So let's go add a server. Let's join a server that's going to be Midjourney's. And so here we're already into the Midjourney server. You can get into the different uh, servers that are there and basically just generate AI generated stuff. And this is it. This is pretty easy to use. And, you know, you have now a foolproof method to be using Midjourney for free. Absolutely. Without having to worry about your free queries or not. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe.